After causing a tragedy that destroys her family forever, a girl discovers that she has superhuman abilities and decides to use them to become a superhero. Today we're going to recap the first three episodes of the first season of the Gen V series, from 2023. Marie is an American teenager who lives in a house with her parents and younger sister. One day, while she is with her family, she feels severe pain in her abdomen and goes to the bathroom. After sitting on the toilet, she discovers that she has just had her first period, but suddenly her blood starts to float and she gets scared. Hearing Marie's screams, her mother goes into the bathroom and ends up cutting her neck. Her father then appears and tries to help her. He asks Marie what happened and the young woman is terrified. As she has no control over her powers, she causes an explosion and, accidentally, her father is eliminated too. Six years later, the girl is living in an institute for young people with supernatural abilities. Now that she's 18, she has more control over her powers and trains herself daily on how to manipulate her own blood to use it as a weapon. That afternoon, the young woman sees one of the institute's residents being taken against her will to a rehabilitation center, but decides not to intervene. Instead, Marie pays a visit to the computer room and, after accessing the Godolkin University website, she discovers that she has been approved for a full scholarship. Since 1965, Godolkin has been training the brightest young heroes who have made their mark on history. It was there that great icons such as Queen Maeve, A-Train and The Deep graduated and Marie can't wait to start a new stage of her life in this historic place that brings together young people with the most diverse abilities. On the very first day, the girl meets Emma, her roommate, who is able to alter all the molecules in her body to change size. With the help of her hamster, she records videos for YouTube, where she has already amassed more than 1 million followers. On the first day of school, freshmen have the chance to take part in a duel against one of the top 10 students in the school. Watching Golden Boy beat the crap out of his opponent, Marie says that one day he will be ranked number one. At that moment, the newcomer has his arm torn off, but his powers allow him to regenerate and Luke congratulates him on his performance in the fight. Looking at her course schedule, Marie realizes that something is wrong and goes to the crime fighting school to find out why she wasn't accepted into the group. When she gets there, she meets Jordan Lee, the student in second place in the top 10, and discovers that she has been rejected because all the places on the course have been filled. That night, while walking around the campus, Marie sees a student with super strength running away from the guards, as he is completely out of his mind after using hallucinogenic substances. She immediately tries to use her powers to stop him, but the man keeps attacking the security guards until Andre appears and manages to help the guards capture him. The next morning, Luke receives the news that he has been recruited to join the greatest group of superheroes in the United States called the Seven. Although this is the great dream of most of his classmates, the man doesn't seem very happy about the news, but he thanks his teacher for the opportunity and promises that he won't let him down. After the curfew, Luke and some other friends plan to go to a party to celebrate the start of school and Andre invites Marie to join them. At that moment, she has the chance to meet Golden Boy and his girlfriend, Kate. What she didn't expect, however, was that Jordan would also be along for the ride and she'd have to spend the whole night with the guy who stopped her from following her big dream. Even so, when she reaches the Tower of the Seven, Marie feels that it was worth sneaking off campus, because she could never have imagined being in that place one day. The group then goes to a nightclub and, while everyone is having fun, Andre tries to impress a girl with his superpowers. However, his plans don't work out as expected and he accidentally injures a civilian, whose neck is cut. Terrified, the man asks his friends to call an ambulance, as the girl has had her artery punctured, but Kate says that the best option is to leave, as the paramedics won't arrive in time to save her. Seeing the girl on the ground covered in blood, Marie remembers the day she eliminated her parents and tries to make amends by saving the life of the stranger. At this point, she manages to use her powers to stop the victim from losing any more blood and allows the girl to survive. After that, Marie becomes known as a heroine and Emma is happy to know that her friend's name is all over the media. That morning, the young woman is invited to Professor Brink's office and soon realizes that, thanks to her heroic act, she will be accepted into the crime-fighting school. However, the reality is quite different from what she imagines and Professor Bink informs her that she is expelled, as she will be taking the blame for what happened in order to clean up after her colleagues who were involved in the accident. Furious, the girl leaves and, after venting her anger, decides to return to her teacher's classroom to try to convince him not to expel her. When he wakes up, Luke hears his brother's voice and walks around his room looking for him. When he opens the bathroom door, he sees a place like a forest and hears a call for help from Sam, who says it's not a dream. Then, when Emma arrives at Brink's room, she finds Golden Boy eliminating the old man with his flames and the man tries to explain himself, saying he had no other choice. Despite not wanting to hurt Marie, 
Luke comes to the conclusion that he will have to eliminate her to cover up his crime, but the young woman manages to escape and, on the way, meets Jordan, who this time is in his female version. Realizing that his friend is trying to hurt Marie, Jordan starts a duel against him to protect her and orders the young woman to flee. As well as switching between male and female bodies, Jordan is extremely strong and can withstand any kind of physical attack. This allows him to avoid being burned by Luke's flames, but he still can't defeat him in battle. When she leaves the building, Marie finds Andre and tells him what happened. Soon afterwards, Luke shows up determined to eliminate his only witness, but he feels cornered when he realizes that there are several students looking at him. Then, after hugging his best friend, Golden Boy apologizes for all the harm he has caused and overheats until his own body explodes. The morning after the big disaster, Marie is on her way to her first day of school when she learns that she has become the first Godolkin freshman to qualify for the top 10. Andre has now become top 1 and Jordan, who was in second place, has dropped to fifth. That afternoon, Marie learns that she has been invited to give an interview and, when she arrives on the set, she meets the man. The pair then start taking some photos and, at the end of the session, Andre asks Marie to help him investigate the elimination of Bink and Luke. However, the young woman was not close to them and preferred to stay out of trouble, as she had been through a lot since she arrived at the university. During the first drama lesson, the teacher asks the students to form pairs and prepare a scene to be performed next week. As the guy Emma is keen on has already found another partner for the project, Justine kindly invites her to be her partner. Now that she's famous, Marie is accepted into the crime fighting school and discovers that she and Andre are getting the credit for stopping Luke from hurting more people. However, at the end of the lesson, Jordan goes to talk to her and asks her to tell the truth while she is live for her next interview, because he was the one who fought Luke to save her. That afternoon, as they get together to work on their project, the two girls talk about their previous experiences in drama and Justine reveals that she has already acted in a few movies. At this point, Emma tells her that all of her work has gone to YouTube and says that her success has been thanks to her ability to shrink. Despite this, the girl doesn't like her powers, as she has to vomit every time she needs to use them. Hours later, Marie is invited to the dean's office and the woman reveals that, before reaching that position, she was a behavioral psychologist specializing in superheroes. Indira then asks Marie why she applied to join Godolkin and the young woman tells her that she wants to become a hero to prove to her younger sister that she's not a monster. After the tragedy that took her parents' lives, Annabeth was adopted, but Marie doesn't know where she is. So her plans include getting some money together and looking for her so that the two of them can be a family again. After revealing some traumas from her past, Marie leaves and Indira walks to her secret laboratory, where she gathers a group of scientists to carry out tests on metahumans. Meanwhile, Andre and Kate go to Luke's room looking for any clues that might help them find an answer to what happened. However, when they get there, the pair realize that all the man's belongings have disappeared and the whole place has been cleaned with bleach, as if they were trying to cover something up. While walking around campus, Emma notices that the other students are looking at her strangely and discovers that Justine has revealed her secret to everyone in a video. In exchange for a few likes and in an attempt to grow on the internet at the YouTuber's expense, the woman said that Emma needs to vomit to make herself small. On the way back to campus, Andre realizes that, before he perished, Luke melted the security camera pointing at the Polarity statue and remembers his friend's last words. At that moment, he realizes that Luke has hidden something inside the statue and, upon investigating, finds the man's cell phone. Andre and Kate then go to look at the last images he recorded and find a video of the man saying that his brother hasn't perished. Lately, Luke has begun to see visions of Sam asking for his help and saying that he is trapped in a forest. According to Luke, this place is a kind of hospital where experiments are being carried out on his brother and Brink was involved. In his video, the young man says that he is going to convince Brink to inform him of his brother's whereabouts and asks his friend to help Sam, because if Andre is watching that video, it means that Luke is eliminated. At the end of the video, Kate feels confused, as everyone believed that Sam had taken his own life because of his schizophrenia. It's only a few minutes before Andre's interview begins and he has to rush to the studio because he's taking part in a live broadcast. But on the way, he gives up on the news set and breaks into Brink's office. While rummaging through his late teacher's computer, he finds a file containing all the information about Sam and discovers that Luke wasn't crazy, as his brother is in fact being held captive in a laboratory. After taking a picture of the images, Andre realizes that the room is being invaded and hides under the table while some guards steal Brink's laptop. At that moment, Marie is about to be interviewed by Haley Miller and discovers that the production has contacted Annabeth, but the young woman has refused to take part in any interview involving her sister. 
Upon receiving this news, Marie didn't have the strength to reveal the truth about what happened the day she was chased by Luke and only read the script to answer Bailey's questions. After being stabbed in the back, Emma closes herself off to new friends and starts avoiding people. When she realizes the damage she has done, Justine decides to go after her to apologize, but even then the girl wants to take advantage of Emma and tries to record the moment they make up. However, when she realizes that she is being filmed, Emma leaves and finds her mother, who has gone to the university to accompany her to the event that is to take place that evening. When she gets to her room, the first thing Marie sees is a photo of her family and she begins to cry when she realizes that she will never be able to see her sister again, because seeing her is the last thing Annabeth wants. Frustrated, she goes after Indira for support while Andre follows the soldiers who stole Brink's notebook. After seeing a man being eliminated, the man is caught by one of the guards who turns on a sound device to immobilize him, since metahumans have much more sensitive hearing than normal humans. Suddenly, one of Bob's colleagues appears and orders him to turn off the device. The woman is being manipulated by the powers of Kate, who went there to help her friend. However, after using her power repeatedly, the young woman begins to have a seizure and Andre has to help her. Three years earlier, she and Luke went to visit Sam's cell because the man was completely out of control. The origin of all metahumans' powers is a compound V that was developed by the government and applied to them when they were babies. When he finds out that his parents allowed him to undergo this procedure, Sam is furious and blames them for his schizophrenia, saying that it was those powers that messed up his mind. Luke patiently tries to reassure his brother and manages to calm him down. Just then, one of the guards accidentally shoots Sam and the man takes him out with a single blow to the stomach, causing the man's guts to come out of his mouth. Then Luke is attacked and Kate has to use her convincing skills to get Sam to sleep, as he was totally uncontrollable. When she wakes up, Kate is back in her room next to Andre and discovers that Sam is alive, just as Luke said in the video. Hours later, when she arrives in her room, Marie finds Emma and discovers the obscure part about how her powers work. To shrink in size, the young girl has to vomit countless times until she reaches the desired size. And to grow, all she has to do is eat again. Marie tries to talk to her friend about it, but Emma says she doesn't want to talk about it. The next morning, Marie goes to Indira's house for breakfast and their relationship begins to grow closer. After praising the young woman's performance in the interview, the woman invites her to accompany her to an event in honor of Professor Brink. As this will be an excellent opportunity to meet the alumni and possible sponsors, Marie accepts the invitation. When she returns to campus, she sees Kate and apologizes for everything that happened, saying she's sorry for her loss. Then, when Marie leaves, the young woman remembers what happened after Sam's supposed elimination. Luke was never able to believe that his brother had taken his own life and blamed himself for not being there for him when Sam needed him most. That evening, all the students and their families gather for the celebration and Marie is one of the few students whose parents didn't show up to accompany her. Indira then advises the girl to lie about why her parents didn't show up, as she doesn't want the sponsors to know the truth about the past of one of Godolkin's most promising students. During the party, one of the sponsors approaches Emma and tells her that she would like to invite her to debut a series. Having worked with social media for a long time, the young woman is excited about the idea until Courtney tells her that she has learned about her eating disorder and intends to explore this theme in the series. Furious that her powers are seen as a disease, Emma goes to the bathroom to cry and then Marie appears. Even after their argument, Emma compliments her roommate's dress and Marie asks for her help to use the toilet, as she can't hold her own dress. While they are both in an awkward situation, Marie takes the opportunity to apologize to her friend and they hug. Minutes later, seeing Emma leaving the party, Andre decides to go after her and shows her the image he found on Brink's computer. She then asks for the young woman's help to break into the lab and find out what they're doing to Sam, as her skills will allow her to enter undetected. Immediately, Emma agrees to help him on this mission and, while everyone is distracted by the party, she begins the invasion. Before they part, Andre hands her a GPS connected to his cell phone and arranges to meet his colleague in an hour. So Emma hides in one of the food trays and, when the nurse delivers Sam's dinner, the girl manages to find him, but ends up being captured by him. During the tribute to Brink, Andre checks Emma's location on his cell phone and is worried when he realizes that the young woman isn't moving. So the man decides to go after her, but is stopped by his father, who asks why he's been acting so strangely lately. Tired of lying, Andre decides to tell the truth and says that he is investigating an underground hideout where the government is experimenting on metahumans. Upon hearing this, Thomas embraces his son and orders him to abandon this mission immediately. The man says that if Andre keeps talking about it, he will end up being eliminated. At first sight, when he meets Emma, Sam believes that the microscopic girl is just a figment of his imagination, but he soon realizes that she is real and has come there to set him free. 
However, Sam says that every time he has tried to escape, people have been hurt. So he decides to give up escaping and asks Emma to leave. Worried about the man who has been held captive for years, the girl decides to lie and says that it was Luke who sent her to save her brother. At that moment, Sam reveals that he knows the codes to open all the cells and says that he will pass them on to Emma. The evening is almost over when Marie discovers that she was invited to the party only so that Indira could raise more money from the university's sponsors. Frustrated and feeling used, the girl leaves and meets Jordan and Kate on the way. After telling the truth about her parents' tragic end, she is taken in by her classmates and makes peace with them. Worried about Emma, Andre sees no alternative but to tell Kate the truth about what happened and Marie panics when she discovers that her best friend is in danger. Suddenly, the prison alarm begins to sound and Sam realizes that the security guards have detected Emma's presence. He helps the young woman escape and then gets a shock that causes him to faint. Determined to avenge her new friend, Emma jumps on the guard's uniform and invades his ear, piercing his brain. When the girl manages to escape through the other ear, she sees new armed guards approaching and the two young people are surrounded. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you like the video, like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.